Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-1255, Grapes from Dawn Farm and Ranch. Now, this little guy falls under the object class of Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what makes these grapes so special, shall we? SCP-1255, also known as Grapes from Dawn Farm and Ranch, must be stored in airtight containers in a freezer unit set at negative 17 degrees Celsius. These containers must be clearly labeled as not for consumption. If any personnel are found to have consumed SCP-1255, emergency medical staff should be contacted immediately for expulsion of stomach contents to prevent conversion into SCP-1255-1. SCP-1255, also known as Grapes from Dawn Farm and Ranch, has been found to induce a series of physical and mental changes in individuals who consume it. This phenomenon is referred to as the growth cycle. MRI scans of individuals who have ingested SCP-1255 reveal that the seeds within the grapes become attached to the stomach wall after consumption. The seeds then release an unknown acidic substance, which breaks down the stomach fibers, allowing the seeds to enter the bloodstream without harming the individual. It has been observed that SCP-1255 possesses a gene that enables it to deceive white blood cells into perceiving its seeds as non-foreign objects, allowing them to travel through the bloodstream without being attacked. The journey of the SCP-1255 seeds continues through the veins of the individual until they reach the brain. Once in the brain, the seeds begin to sprout, leading to alterations in the memories and behavior of the individual. These changes are believed to contribute to the spread and survival of SCP-1255. The entire growth cycle usually spans a period of one week to one month and occurs in distinct stages. After completing a growth cycle, individuals affected by SCP-1255 will attempt to persuade nearby individuals to consume the grapes. If there are no individuals in close proximity, they may leave a basket of SCP-1255 on a doorstep for someone else to discover. In some instances, SCP-1255 affected individuals have been known to leave a note encouraging others to consume the grapes. Once all instances of SCP-1255 have been distributed, the affected individual will re-enter the growth cycle. It has been observed that individuals affected by SCP-1255 typically have a life expectancy of less than one year. Upon their expiration, their bodies decompose at a rate ten times faster than that of a normal human cadaver, leaving behind vines of SCP-1255. Currently, there are three instances of SCP-1255-1 being held in containment at Site-06-3. These live instances are kept in a standard 5 by 7 meter containment chamber with a heat lamp and are checked every two months for SCP-1255. They are given two liters of water every two weeks. Any testing on these instances must be approved by Dr. Tapp. An investigation into the group of interest is ongoing. SCP-1255 was initially found in, California after reports of a family of human-plant hybrids in a local residence. Mobile Task Force Theta-4 Gardeners discovered five instances of SCP-1255-1 in the Stage 4 phase of the growth cycle in the backyard of the location. The subjects were identified as the Rivera family. During an inspection of the residence, a basket containing SCP-1255 was found in the kitchen. The SCP-1255 instances were matched to the fruit growing on some of the SCP-1255-1 instances by Mobile Task Force Theta-6. A postcard was found near the basket, indicating that the fruit was a gift from Dawn Farm and Ranch. Dawn Farm and Ranch prides itself on providing healthy food to consumers and has been family-owned and operated for over 30 years. If unsatisfied with their product, they can be contacted at 1-800-DAWN. The five instances of SCP-1255-1 and the container of SCP-1255 were recovered without any casualties. 
witnesses of the SCP-1255-1 instances were administered Class A amnestics.